Welcome back viewers to another episode of Humanities Embers. Today we are going to the Western US for Operation Witch Shriek. This is a security breach. We have taken quite a few new resistant contacts as of late and naturally some of them are faceless. So we are going to essentially, well, weed the resistance. What the weed? Weed. You know, weed is a strange word, but anyway, I digress. Let's go ahead and get rid of the faces amongst us. Okay, rendezvous. But yeah, weeding is a strange word. Like, for example, I'm a programmer, and when we try to remove bugs from a program, which is kind of like weeds, uh, you call it debugging, you don't call it bugging, you know? And yet, weeding is the process of removing weeds. So why is it called de-weeding? Why is it called weeding? It's weird. Anyway, let's have a look who we have here. Oh, ooh, who is this? Erica James, you are fancy. You found yourself a scatter ray. So what's happening here is um, once you research text hide and laser, uh, the resistance contacts has a chance of spawning on missions like this with weapons of the tier prior. So because we have finally researched mag weapons, our resistance contacts have a chance of spawning with laser weapons, which is pretty cool. It's a shame you're the only person here with a laser weapon. Anyway though, who is our um, non-rookie here? Oh, I am. And I don't even have a base of hit points. Well, that's fun. I do have a grenade and flashbang though, but still, that's unfortunate. Either way, let's introduce the squad and we get started. We have myself, Rubarbarian, leading this bunch of rookies. We have some of the rookies are actually tougher than me. That's just depressing. And every single one of them have a bigger gun than me, except whoever this person is. We have Joff Ma Marshall with a shotgun. Grenade, flashbang, what is this? Steady hands and damn good ground. We have Ash Duran with a shotgun, grenade and flashbang. We have Erica James with a scatter ray, grenade and flashbang. Sarah Brooks with a assault rifle, grenade and flashbang. Elizabeth Anderson with an SMG, grenade and smoke. And that's it. Hell, so we only have one rifle, two shot, and essentially three shotguns. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, cool. So who's got SMGs? Elizabeth, you're both the squishiest person here and have the smallest gun. Right. Okay, what can we see? Uh, corner maps over here. Put maps over here, let's move forward and go from there. The enemy are never that particularly close on these missions, which means there's almost never going to be an enemy, enemy right here. Still, let's move you up a little bit, we're not in a hurry, there's no time limit. Shafts get over there, Astrid. Just get people up front, really. Simple. Still take cover, just in case. We don't want to get discovered yet. At least not without pulling off an ambush, because these guys cannot deal with Problematic situations, to say the least. Uh, Bruto. Bruto, Bruto, Bruto. Uh, you got SMG. Move up to here. Who's the other SMG here? Elizabeth, right? Elizabeth. You can move up to here. Kind of bunny hopping here. Uh, Bruto, get up to here. There's a building over here. This looks very familiar. This looks very similar to the last... Uh, security breach we had, at least I think it was the last security breach we had, where, um, actually no, I think it was a, maybe a one before that, yeah, it was one before that, where Ash Durand got shot over here. Yeah, I vaguely remember that, it's a while ago now. So we have Ash Durand. Hey, because this whole building looks vaguely familiar. I think it's the same building, I'm not, even sh I'm not sure though, it's been a while. Uh, Joff, let's get you up here. Let's see if we can find out where the patrolling pod is and where the faces pod is. Now it's quite interesting because I actually did one of these missions recently in my offline campaign and I found three pod rather than two pod, which is unusual to say at least because I've always seen this mission as only having two pods prior to that. Let's get up to a roof, you can see something. Okay, what do you see? Don't tell me they're on the roof, I'll be very upset. Okay, they're not on the roof. Cool. Now, one good reason to explore the SMGs, other than the fact that they are faster, is they also have smaller detection radiuses, which means they're less likely to activate something. Okay, let's get people. My squad is mostly shotguns, which is interesting. It means I really want to get up close and personal. And the SMG is basically a close range weapon as well. It has a lot of full cover here. Fascinating. Let's get Elizabeth over here. Joff. Get over here. I think that's it. 
Okay. So we know where the patrolling pod is, I think. But as I was saying, um, I, I did one of these missions where um, there was three pods or two patrolling pods, and that was honestly a surprise. Um, where's my other SMG here? Elizabeth, look over here. Cool. I gotta be really careful because the, the increased detection radius could really screw me over. Now, there's a good chance the faces part is either inside this building or right over here. Uh, I don't want to do a dash to find out though, in case they patrol backwards and screw you over. So let's just leave you here for now. Uh, let's get Elizabeth over here. Uh, Erica James can come over here. Shoff can come over here. And who's this? Sarah Brooks can dash up here. It's for myself. I can make it to a ledge. I can see all of them, so I know I definitely won't trigger by doing this. I think the rifle might trigger though. Okay. Now, ideally, we open with an ambush on their turn because they shouldn't shoot us on activation because they're not yellow alert. Okay, it gives us a little space to try to figure out where the um, faceless part is. Get over here. Do you see them? Okay, so it looks like we're doing with two faceless and possibly another two over there. It looks like a trooper and an officer. Uh, so, note to self, who are these people? Stephanie Berry and... <laughs> oh, that's cute. Are they both girls? Yeah, they're both girls. They're like a pair of sisters or cousins or something. Nicole Berry and Stephanie Berry. I wonder which mission we got them on. It would be funny if they both came from the same mission. I can't remember exactly which though. I mean, unless you actually use these rookies. Like, for example, I remember Joff, Eric and James, and uh, Asher Duran, because I've used them so many times now. It's funny. I don't remember too much about Elizabeth Anderson though. It's a shame these people don't level up. It'd be so cool if they did. Anyway though, uh, let's get you back over here. Uh, just, just, actually, just a quick note. These two will never patrol, but these guys might patrol. Um, and, and when I say patrol, I mean they might respond to sound. Uh, let's have a look. They are on this tile. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. So, okay, so I actually can't move up much from this position without activating them. That's a slight concern. So let's get you back over here. I know, I know where they are now, and so that's kind of important. Uh, is there a door over here? There's a door over here, but I can't get in from here. I'll have to go, I have to open this door and, open, and get around there. I can open the door now, actually. I can get inside this building. I'm tempted to do so. Let's get you over here. Let's just get you over here. Roger that. Cool. And see about opening that door. Okay. Shotgun number two. Let's get you over here. And then get you over here. Good old waypoints. Uh, shotgun number three. Uh, I don't know yet. I might just leave you here for now. See where they patrol towards. Moving out. What I'll probably do is put one of these people in the open so that when they, because if a train does watch me, they get up a train to back this way at some point. And when they do, I want them to um, be in vision of these two shotgunners, probably all three shotgunners, ideally. So ideally, they activate while standing around here. That'd be the best. Anyway, let's just overwatch everyone and see where they patrol next. Okay, still going that way. Cool. Well, they will be back. And that's a grenadier. That's not an officer. Meh. Now some are veteran units, so not exactly the world's toughest. They're also not squishy either, mind you. I think what I'll do is put Elizabeth in the open here. Yes, I'm putting the squishiest person in the open. I am crazy like that. Uh, I could actually put you over here. Nah, it's fine. Let's keep you here. Okay, let's all watch a few turns for them to come back. And here we go, they are coming back now. So they won't actually activate for another couple of turns. We check the detection radius. It's like this far, which means like this far. So yeah, they should activate roughly around here where um, my shotguns can see. In fact, I'm gonna put extra one extra tile over. Okay, Overwatch all. You know, I wish Control Y worked. You know, like to Control Y, which is Overwatch all back in the, the original XCOM. 
or the original Long War, whatever. That was pretty handy. And here, Y works, but Control Y doesn't. You have to get a mod, and it doesn't work as well because there's uh, no. Uh, well, there's kind of a shortcut, but it moves around, so it's not very helpful. Okay, I think about activate. Mm, no further than I was hoping for. There we go, spotted. Still, hopefully we can get him more. Nice hit. Nice hit. Nice hit. Nice hit. Any more? Come on. One more. Nice. Now, unfortunately... Okay, I am going to see if I can pick up the loot. Uh, unfortunately, I think I is going to activate those faceless. But if that's the case, so be it. Okay, did not activate the faceless. Fascinating. Oh, oh, that's interesting. Huh. Well, that's fascinating. How about now? I mean, I can see them, but um, I don't know why they're not activating. I don't trust this. I'm going to move you guys back. Let's put Elizabeth over here. And I'm going to put Astrid. Yeah, I'm not sure what's going on, to be honest. I know if I shoot them, they're definitely going to activate. And man, my people are way too squishy for this. Uh, Astrid, you actually want to tougher people here. I might just leave you up front, but I don't know what's going to happen if I leave you in visions. I'm going to move you back over here. What's over there? Uh, Overwatch. Uh, Overwatch. Overwatch. I don't like the fact that you two are in half cover and with only five health each. But what choice do I have? Well, I mean, they don't have to be in half cover. Okay, they're not going to activate. That's... Fascinating. I mean, that's not going to hit. Let's be realistic. Okay, what if I leave you in vision? <laughs> this is really odd, I gotta say. Uh, let's put Astrid over inside here. And you are just way too squishy, Elizabeth. I don't like having you here at all. Yeah, I'm not putting you in half cover, that's for sure. You're way too squishy for this. Okay, well, let's all watch everyone and see what happens. Would it activate now? No, okay. Well, I'm not going to waste a rocket to open. I have one rifle amongst all these people. So what I'm going to do is put... Hmm. Because they're obviously not patrolling either. What if I use a grenade to try to lure them towards me? But then they'll be on yellow alert. I don't want that to happen either. And I know if I shoot them, they'll definitely activate. But I don't really want to shoot them to activate them. Oh, bloody hell. How am I supposed to do this? Huh. Well, I guess I can put a sacrificial lamb out and a sacrificial lamb will be a, someone who can get back. So move forward and then run back. You have a smoke grenade, which is semi-valuable. Uh, honestly, shotguns aren't actually that valuable right now. They're gonna to be too far away. What I'm actually always tempted to do is move forward, activate them and just run back inside the building and hide people inside a building, let them come closer to us. Because I don't want to have to be up here either. That's just not safe. I can in fact hide one, two, three, four, five, six people inside a building. And go from there. <laughs> okay, what if we try to do that? Um, Elizabeth, why don't you move up to here? Okay, I see how it is. The problem is if I leave someone outside, someone's going to get shot and that's not going to be fun. I'm just going to overwatch again. <laughs> see what happens. Okay, okay, I see. Fine, okay. This is really odd. I thought that the moment you see these guys, they're supposed to activate on you. This is just really odd. Ah, uh, okay. Well, you have more stuff movement, so why don't you move here and then you can dash back okay so now I can see him so he activates which means he's to activate
Yes, I know. Maybe their vision is less than 17 tiles or something. And yep, these two activate. I think it's mostly that, that unless you activate these two, nothing's going to happen. Now, those two are obviously a pain to ass to deal with. Uh, I can not rocket them. And if I had Javan rockets, I could. But I don't have Javan rockets. So why don't I move these people inside? And we'll see what happens. Absolutely. I'm going to put um, myself next to the door. Um, Sarah Brooks can actually hide over here. I'm you here. Erica James can. Okay, you move over, Astrid. You move over here and close the door. Now they can't see us. Okay. So let's see what happens. Next time we'll open the door and see where they've moved to. Peekaboo. Oh, uh, hello. Okay. These two are in our face. Lovely. I would like to rocket these two. I don't know if Luke can just flashbang them, but... Oh god, they're actually so close. I do have to do kill these two off, don't I? Okay, I do have a ton of grenades. So what I might do is grenade, grenade, and then have shotgun to finish them off. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that rocket first. Car blows up, which kills them both. Kills you off, kills you off. Cool. Awesome. Simple. Now let's deal with these guys. So let's start with it. We have an SMG somewhere here. You, Elizabeth. So, uh, you're really not going to do a hell lot with your SMG. So let's just go ahead and grenade these two. Now it's interesting. Those who didn't have loot, which means these two must have loot. Uh, assault rifle really isn't going to do much either. So let's put you over here and you can. Grenade these two. And we still have three shotguns left. Shotgun. Hmm, I hope these things can do enough damage. I mean, I should have 100% hits on them. It should be fine. This is 5 to 8, 5 to 8. Uh, these shotguns are, uh, I'm not sure. Let's actually move you here. 100% by the way? Yes it is. 4 to 6. Okay, the so 2, 4 to 6 are guaranteed to kill a 6 health one. And the 5 to 8 is guaranteed to kill a 5 health one. So let's have 2 shotguns shoot you. Nice shot. Yeah, out of curiosity, because the car blew up thanks to my rocket, do I get a kills? Guess let's find out because I haven't actually killed anything so far. Come on, Droff. Do I get 2 kills this mission? If the answer is yes, then we know the explosion counts. Man, this is like the oldest trick in the book. <laughs> Hide everyone out of line of sight. And I love the fact you can close doors now. It's so rare you could use that to your advantage back in the original XCOM 2, but in Long War 2, you get opportunities. That's pretty cool. One by one, we're evening up the score, Commander. Good work out there. Oh, come on. I totally got those kills. Oh, that's not cool. That's not fair at all. I got no kills even. Oh, whatever. Find a hole. That is just depressing. Advanced autoloader, perception, autoloader, hacking. Not actually as much loot as normal. And we didn't see the loot destroy, which means it's not the fault of the rocket plus exploding car. Still, that's just so depressing. Oh, we didn't get, oh, we didn't get a corpse because they got blown up. Yeah, it's unfortunate. Face is autopsy again, render a face as corpse. That's nice. We're actually almost out of power, but we can always put an engineer there, so it's fine. Uh, out of curiosity, is it? And our equipment is ready to begin assembly. Uh-huh. Just give the word and we'll build the skull jack. Uh, there's one good thing about a skull jack, and that's it does give you... Okay, the other thing is skull jack is upgrade to a skull jack, which gives you like plus 25 to hacking or something. Uh, but... Yeah, let's not worry about that for now. We're getting Avon Robotics done in one day, which allows us to start getting bow scanners and Gremlin Mark IIs, I think. And that'll be very helpful. Okay. What's this mission? Yeah, um, not happening. 
And who do we kill off here? There. Uh, I can't tell. I think it was Cobblepure doing supply. I think. I'm not sure. Still, we should get good supply coming in uh, next month, which will happen in 14 days. Okay. Well, next three week cycle. It's so awkward saying three week cycle. Uh, that's 93%, which means that's one day 11 hours to go. Ooh, that's going to be fun. I don't think I have the time to record today, but yeah, that's going to be fun. Actually, I'm going to struggle to find time to record that. It's going to be a really long mission. Jeez. Uh, great. Okay. Okay. I think let's just scan ahead. Uh, I really don't care too much about where I do it. Probably over here. Because we want to get our liberation missions over in the eastern US. For eastern United States. Out of curiosity, when is the other missions ready? Like to smash and grab here. 14 hours. Okay, so that'll probably be next. This is four days and I'm definitely over infiltrating that. Mm-hmm. Gremlin Mark II. Uh, we're not breaking that stuff down. Bow scanners. Awesome. So we're definitely doing bow scanners. Uh, it's for the other things though. Uh, we could get resistance radio, but I got better things to spend intel on. Um, we could continue mutant autopsy. Um, I could get combat armor or advanced mag weapons. I'm kind of thinking, let's finish off mutant autopsy so we can finally get plasma grenades. Then we can get advanced mag weapons. I mean, yes, it'll be nice to get the next level of sniper rifle and mag cannon. Uh, the, you know, the machine gun, but to be fair, both our snipers and our gunners have plus one damage as it is, and the extra aim on the weapon is kind of handy for now. So I might just hold it off for a tiny little bit while we go and finish our mural top, which takes six days. That'll be quite helpful. Uh, in the meantime, bow scanners, I definitely want that. Where is it? I'm not in a huge rush for it, but it'd be nice to have. Battle scanners. Costs 25 supplies. Well, what a coincidence. We have just barely enough. Two Illyrium crystals, one Illyrium core, bunch of supplies, drone rack. Alloys. Yep, cool. Battle scanners. Takes 13 days. We do not have a spare engineer, and I don't really want a spare engineer for this. I'd rather have the engineers be busy clearing this out. Although, that's it. We're running out of things to clear out, so I might divert engineer over or something. Because these two will go over to here, but once th these guys are done, I'll probably put one here, maybe, I don't know. I don't know, let's figure out later. We got time. I'm actually quite surprised how quickly we've cleared this out. We really, really aren't in a hurry for engineers. We do need more scientists though. Uh, we probably should also go check out black market, see what we can sell. We have tons of corpses, but let's keep scanning here for now. Ooh, ooh. Do I honestly think we can do a light with this squad? Okay, what's in this squad? We have a sharpshooter. We have... Okay, so... Um, oh, they are guarded though. Am I willing to boost infiltration for this? The answer is not really, and the reason I say that is simply we would need to start contacting more regions. So, I don't know. This is a tough one. This is a good squad, mind you. But we'll be depending a lot on opening shots from Void Terror, who doesn't even have uh, stock. This is it worth 25 intel? Okay, I will get more intel for completing that. And I can't remember if I get intel or not for completing that. But the resources will be very handy. I think it might be worth boosting infiltration just so we can do this. A light is just a little bit too hard, I think, for five people. If we had six people, maybe, but for five, I think it might be just a little bit too hard. So I think I will boost. Let's go ahead and boost infiltration here. Oh God, so expensive. Well, they're vulnerable and very light now. I was hoping it got into extremely light, but whatever. This is what I have to do. I, this will be our next mission, Operation Demon Thorn. So I hope you enjoyed this episode, and I'll see you guys next time for more of Humanity's Embers. Until then, see you later.